Welcome to the Moss Isley Lego Cantina review. Uh, it's a really awesome set, 3,100 plus pieces. Uh, it comes with the things you see in the center of the town here, the main cantina building, as well as these extra house and a shop that a Jawa sells junk out of. Really love the way they use the cape type piece here to make the torn roof covering. You get this ship, Greedo's little round ship. And then in addition here on the table, I set it up to try to have some of the other elements that have been in Tatooine scenes, particularly the cantina scene. We have the land speeder outside that the Uncle Owen and the droids and Luke come in. And then, of course, we have the classic scene at the door with the, these are not the droids you are looking for. There's another set out now, uh, Obi-Wan's house. So I put Obi-Wan's house here off in the corner. It's as far as I can put it from the town. And then, of course, one of the classic Millennium Falcon sets. Uh, not the huge one this way. It's to scale kind of with the rest of the setup. A uh, little fact right now, end of 2019, Lego stopped making tan base plates. I had bought a few before that. Uh, they're very difficult to find now. Hopefully Lego will begin producing those again for 2021. And then over here on the other side of Tatooine, we have the Sarlacc Pit with a uh, sail barge with Han ready to walk the plank, a guard, Chewie, and Boba Fett. And then in the back, we have the really awesome Ultimate Collector Series sand crawler. Uncle Owen is negotiating with some Jawas. And then we have the other Jawas watching over a number of the other droids. The cantina does open up. It's pretty easy to see just by lifting off the roof. You got the Biff band over here, Han and Greedo. And then other various patrons, the bar itself, very detailed, looks really good. And uh, then the doors, they mention in the booklet that in the movies, the doors open side to side, all the doors here in the town open up to down little easier to build and more actionable to use for play scenes so overall great value awesomely detailed set um, if you combine it with some of the other stuff that's been out starting to get to where you can do a pretty good setup of all Tatooine Star Wars stuff so now I need to uh, try to locate an old job of palace set and maybe work on building that out in some natural hills or such. Uh, highly recommend getting this set if you like Legos and Star Wars. Thanks for watching.